There's a ton of campaign prep tools out there with various claims to fame, but if you're like me, then everyone that you've tried has had a bad user experience, been far too complicated, or in general gotten in the way more than it's helped. If you've watched any of my recent streams on YouTube, you know that I think I've found the solution to all of my world building woes. I'm talking about Legend Keeper, which first popped up near the end of 2018 and has slowly become my favorite world building tool and has replaced my dozens of Google Keep Notes, Word documents, and scraps of paper. Uh, it just had a huge release called the Fates Update, which I've been eagerly waiting for, both for its awesome features and so I can make a video about it. Uh, if you like what you see in the rest of this video, you can subscribe to Legend Keeper's Patreon at the link in the description. Uh, you only have to stay subscribed for one month, and you'll continue to have access to Legend Keeper afterwards until the service officially launches, which we don't really have a hard timeline for. Uh, you also get a bunch of invites to invite your players or other people to try it or just to access your world. There's no fully fleshed out plan for the cost of the service, but based on what I've seen uh, in the developer Braden's Discord, I think it's going to be pretty reasonable. Uh, he has also begun work on an export process, which can currently export single articles, but soon should be able to export your entire world, uh, which should calm any worries about getting stuck on the service. Um, that's enough boring introductions, though. Let's get an overview of what this thing can do. Legend Keeper is a tool for writing, tracking, and managing campaign and world information that you can share with your players and even let them use as well. Uh, it has an extremely intuitive interface for writing, categorizing, and placing information on a map in pins so you can build a massive archive of information that is all tagged, colorized, and using specific icons that you can then filter down to to find specific information. All of this combines to make a wiki map hybrid where it feels like you can get access to all of your information without all the mental overhead of remembering how to edit this specific setting or where it is in this mind-numbingly long form that all has to be filled out and lets you focus the full power of your wrinkly brain on building your world. Let's do a quick overview of Legend Keeper's writing, map pinning functionality, and its permission system. First off, Legend Keeper's writing section is called the Wiki, and it has the best writing experience of any tool that I have used to write ever. It's extremely simple too. Uh, you can create articles and then nest more articles underneath them in sub-articles. When you're writing, you can hit the slash key to get a bunch of options for different blocks and layouts that you can put into an article, and you can even just start typing to get to the one you want without having to switch back to your mouse. Let's take a look at an article that I filled with all kinds of different blocks as a demonstration. We've got headers one through six, info boxes, quotes, tables, multiple column layouts, links, dividers, collapsible sections, lists, checkable to-do lists, and you can even hide specific sections within an article using a secret block so your players can see most of an article but not the big twist. On top of that, you can also insert a block that will automatically create a table of contents based on headers in the article and make an index of all of the sub-articles. In addition to the slash menu options for linking, there's also at mentioning, like on Twitter, for linking to specific articles quickly and easily. If you don't change the text of the link when you make changes to the linked article's title, it will also automatically update uh, in all of your articles that mention it as well. Uh, beyond that, if you've written articles about a person, place, object, or anything really, and that name appears in another article, you can run an auto linker that will connect it to the post automatically. You can also grab a big chunk of an article and split it off into a new article if you're starting to really get into a flow on a specific subject and it's become too long for the article that you originally started writing it in. Now, there's probably some categories that most of your articles fall under, like beings, places, quests that you may want faster access to. If that's the case, you can also make shortcuts to them by just dragging and dropping an article to the top of the sidebar where you can give it a helpful icon as well. One last thing about the writing process. Multiple users can be editing the same document at the same time and neither of you should lose any work. So if you code DM with someone else or want to write out backstories with your players, you can do that. In the future, full version control will also be included so you can rewind and go back to previous iterations. It's actually already tracking those changes now, but they're working on the actual system for how to make it simple for you to go back to those previous versions. Now, 
Articles have more going on than just an excellent writing experience though. They can also have multiple tabs, which give you a lot of flexibility in how you're going to display information for a given subject. As an example, you could have an article about a specific location and split it into tabs for culture, government, and commerce. Each tab is like its own article and has all the functionality of a normal article. You'll also be able to link to a specific tab of an article in a future update. If that's not enough for you, articles also have something called properties. Properties let you attach things to articles like an image, map, tags, and it will also allow you to control what the article's pen looks like when it's placed on a map. And you can get a list of all the other articles you've written that mention this article. If you want a specific article but don't want to dive through your whole sidebar looking for it, you can also hit the magnifying glass in the bottom far left or hit control or command on a Mac plus enter uh, and get a search bar that will let you search for the title and then take you to it no matter what page you're on uh, in Legend Keeper. There's so much easy linking and grouping here and it all feels so much more natural than anything else I've tried. My one wish is that the properties button would scroll with you as you write longer articles instead of staying at the top and that instead of having to click add property all the options were just displayed so I could click on them though I guess it is visually cleaner for articles that won't have any properties. I have to imagine most articles will have some kind of tag at least though. But that's an awful lot of stuff that you can do with boring words on a screen. But where are the visuals, you may be asking, and Legend Keeper doesn't disappoint there either. It might even be fair to say that it is a map-first world-building tool. When you first open it up, you wind up at the Atlas view, not the Wiki view. Since this is a world-building tool, it makes sense for the main view to be the world. Let's jump over to the Atlas view where I've got a world map that I threw together as a demo using Incarnate and a bunch of dummy articles. I've got pens all over the place and we can already see that there's different icons, different colors, and different pen types. Every pen links to an article and has its tags, etc. included. Off to the left, we can see a list of all of our pens and an option to filter by those tags. I've got tags for place, backstory, and random encounter, but you can have as many tags as you want. If you select multiple tags, Legend Keeper can show pens that have all of those tags or any of those tags by changing the filter rule to the left. When we click on a pen, we'll get a view of the article exactly as we designed it, including tabs and all of our layout decisions. We can open it in the wiki or even edit it right here, just like we were in wiki mode. If we close that and go to the pens in the sidebar, we can also see that there's an option to hide the pen so only admins can see it. And with a right click, we can go to its wiki article edit the article, edit the pen, or remove it. The edit pen option lets us change the icon, the pen style, and the color. If we ever lose a pen in the haystack, we can find it easily by going to the sidebar and clicking on the one we want, and it will take us straight to it. There's also settings for restricting pen movement and setting up pen clusters so your screen won't look like you're try, uh, trying to track down uh, who Pepe Silvia is if you went a little crazy with the world building. Last but not least, it's super easy to add a pen by clicking in the bottom of the left-hand sidebar or by just right-clicking on the map where you want the pen to be, selecting New Pen, and either creating an article or linking it to an existing article. You can also change the icon, the pen color, and the pen style super easily. Now, if you go through all the effort to set up this amazing world, it would be great to be able to share it with your players. Well, at least some of it. It's important to keep some things private so as not to ruin the story, and that's where permissions come in. There are three roles in Legend Keeper. The first is the owner role, and that's only given to the person who created the project. The next two are the admin and the member roles. The admin role can create, view, and edit all articles as well as maps and pins and all their properties. For the member role, the default ability is to view articles and maps, but not to be able to edit them. There are other additional permissions we can control globally though. And those are members can create articles, members can upload maps, and members can upload images. Those last two options can also be set on an individual article basis. So if you don't want them enabled globally, that's no problem. Let's take a look at per article permissions real quick. If we click the three dots that appear when we hover over an article, we'll see we can set permissions for the entire member role, or we could give access to just specific users. The options are 
inherit parent settings, which takes the permission uh, from the article's parent. Then there's can view this article, can edit this article, can edit this article and modify permissions. And lastly, cannot view this article or its subarticles. We can also update article permissions in mass by clicking the settings icon in the left hand sidebar at the bottom uh, and selecting permissions editor. There we can see every article we have and set all the settings we just went over with a few quick clicks. Now that should cover most of Legend Keeper. The development pace is fast though and Brain is doing a lot of amazing work and like I said at a crazy fast pace. If you like what I showed you be sure to subscribe to Legend Keeper on Patreon to get access uh, and join up in the Legend Keeper Discord where the community is super helpful but be sure to be patient and polite with any questions. Like the Foundry community there's a lot of extremely helpful people but they can't be there all the time and it's I think a two-person band building all of Foundry so or, I'm sorry not Foundry building Legend Keeper uh, so they can't be there all the time too but they're there an awful lot of the time. Uh, now I'm halfway through writing up the instructions for hosting a Jitsi server to improve your Foundry video quality and then a video on self-hosting uh, self Foundry itself is coming as well. I figured I'd start with Jitsi because people who use Forge or any other hosting service like Foundry server would get a benefit from that as well and then self-hosted Foundry users would be set up already. Thanks so much to every single one of you who comments, likes these videos, and subscribes. It's amazingly kind and I'm hopeful to have something beyond just videos to show you soon. Hopefully. I'll see you in the next one.